Recent Sioux Falls flood came and hit the community hard, but it can't wash away the strong sense of community here. South Dakota leaders met this morning to decide where we go from here. Kellyanne's Max Hofer reports. South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem, Senator John Thune, and Sioux Falls Mayor Paul Tenhaken met with city officials to assess the damage done across Sioux Falls. Well, I think that gives a new level of empathy to uh, determining how we need to respond as a city and what we can do going forward to ensure uh, we always minimize the sort of impact as much as possible. After an event like this, it's going to take some time to recover. I think it's important in situations like this for people to be patient, not to take chances. Uh, the good news coming out of this, obviously, is that there, you know, in terms of public health and safety, uh, people, people were not, uh, we didn't have loss of life. And uh, it's always, uh, you know, property can be replaced, buildings can be replaced, things can be replaced, but people can't be replaced. Despite the hardships, the community has stayed united. On the local level, the 211 Helpline Center has been tremendous in this. Uh, one of the gentlemen we stopped and talked with today, he was there volunteering because he came through the Helpline Center. So the Helpline Center has really helped unite the volunteer base uh, that we're working with. There were people in the neighborhood and friends and family who would come over all investing their time and energy to try and get people back on their feet. And that too speaks volumes about the caliber of people we have here in South Dakota and the willingness of neighbors to help neighbors. Nome has signed an emergency declaration. Before the flood, the legislature had been preparing by giving $500,000 in emergency funds. That'll help cover overtime costs uh, for DOT costs, plowing, highway patrol officers, and then coordinating with counties and cities. But right now, one of the biggest things the city can do is work together. I'm going to ask people out there to document, take pictures, start looking at costs that they have had in damages. I know our counties and our city will as well um, be tallying up really what the costs may be in the damage done so that uh, we can partner uh, with making a declaration to the federal government level. Having had some um, experience with disasters in the past at the federal level, uh, from our standpoint, it's all kind of keyed and contingent upon the documentation that the city and the state put together, and I know the mayor and the governor will be working uh, to do that. In Sioux Falls, Max Hofer, Kelloland News.